Hello and welcome back to It's Cozy Here. So I have always, always wanted to find me one of these buffet tables. Now, I want you to see the height on it. So I have a buffet table over there, okay? And then look how high this one is. So I'm not sure, I was gonna put this one in my room and then maybe do this one. So those of you that have seen my videos before, you guys know that I love to take furniture and fix it up. The last one I did was a full bedroom set and it's been about three months since, or four months, and that one took a lot out of me. So I am going to clean this up. I found this on Facebook Marketplace for $25, and I could not pass it up. Um, my husband and I were bringing it in, and he slipped and dropped it right there, but it was like almost in perfect condition. My heart was terribly broken, but it's okay, because I can still clean it up and fix it now. I think I may end up painting it white, I'm not sure, but, I do like a darker color, so let's see how it looks. This was, this is the before. cleaned it there was a couple of stuff there in the back sadly there was no treasure but <laughs> that's okay so I have detail cleaned this um it's still I feel like I could do another clean on it um I might have to buy some mineral it is overall in good condition except for this top so I am gonna have to sand this top before I do anything and the back leg because my husband dropped it seems like it is going to be a little bit weak but you can see right here I'm not sure if I can fix this or even if I want to touch it so it is particle board now that I'm looking at it so I'm not sure if I want to sand it I may just end up lightly hand sanding it and then going ahead and putting um, a coat over it and I was thinking about painting it a nice cream color I think it would go really good with a rug um, and the fireplace um, I'm gonna go ahead and start sanding the top with my hand I have a light uh, I have a um, probably like a an 80 grit sander or maybe a 120 just I'm gonna do it up by my hand I don't want to risk messing it up even more but it does need to be sanded so let's get to that now, I'm not a professional, so if you're watching this video, please don't do what I'm doing. Um, I just paid $20 for this piece. My husband dropped it. This is pieces like going, but I thought I could try and save it. So what you're seeing me do is I'm going to sand some of the areas here. I, I'm gonna sand the whole thing, but as you can see, there are some tough crud on here, and I don't know what it is. Um, from the looks of what's inside of it, it looks like it was in a kid's room. So it could just be food that's in there, but I'm just gonna do a light sand over the top by hand. I'm not gonna use my sander. Um, reason being is my sander's pretty powerful, and when I feel the back over here, um, like I showed you, it looks like particle board and I don't wanna mess that up. So I'll continue sanding and you don't have to, I won't torture you through this process, but I just wanted to show you, I'm just lightly gonna cover this with my hand and it's ruined, the whole top is ruined. So this is nothing compared to what is already damaged here on the top, as you can see. Now, honestly, this is really um, therapeutic for me. <laughs> So this is a first sand that I did by hand. And I just wanted to make sure that I got out all, there was like chunks of like scuffy stuff. I don't know, and there was paint on it. I don't know what was here, but look how pretty. And I'm hoping if I use my sander that I can have like this light wood on the top and then maybe paint the bottom like a cream or a uh, creamish white. I don't know. I don't want to do black but black could be very pretty so I'm not sure but I'm gonna keep sanding the top 
Okay, it is morning time. So I started painting the top with a flat white paint. Um, I just have paint on hand, so I'm not using a specific paint, um, but I'm gonna do about two or three coats on the top and the drawers. And I think I may want to do this area right here, but I'm not sure. I'll put the drawers in and see how it looks, but I still wanna keep the wood color. I wish it was a little bit lighter. Um, if not, I'll paint the whole thing white and then probably do some um, maybe gray um, shading only because um, this is going to go in my bedroom, I believe. Still not sure. Uh, the sofa's pretty long, so yeah. If we want to have symmetry in the house, um, so the sofa's long, but this is short. The fireplace is high, and so is this. So it's hard to figure out until I paint it and uh, put it in so we can figure it out. You see, and what I'm noticing about this paint is a lot of other paints kind of dribble, and this one doesn't. It's really, um, here, I'll show you what it is. So when we bought our house, they left some white paint. And I know this is for like the fireplace and the uh, um, the sideboards, but there's so much in here that I only need a little. So I'm using this just to match the white in the house. So, um, but it, it's not dribbling. It goes on really nice. We'll see about a second and third coat. Now you can see how it's like, you see right there, it's, it's still wet. So I'm gonna wait about an hour maybe two hours until it's fully dry, um, just because I don't wanna scrape off that second coat that I'm gonna put. But I absolutely am loving the white, and I don't know, I might do the whole piece, but let's not get carried away. I really wanted to keep um, the legs for sure dark, and if you look at the side here, see, it's in like in perfect condition. I really don't, want to mess that up um you can still see i was sanding i thought i got all of it off i have to um re-wipe it down just to make sure before i paint anything so let's just wait the two hours and do that all right guys so i have been painting away i needed like three or four coats and then i have a little sanding paper um, from another project and I started sanding away right here. You can see I really love it because it brings in the brown that's already in the piece. Now, I'm not done. I still will go ahead and do probably two more coats on these, um, but you can see how it's lighter. But I think it's turning out really great. And my brother gave me the idea to paint this. So um, I'll show you a picture. Um, this is what it looked like without it and then I went ahead and did it. Tell me what you think in the comments if you're watching. I love it. It's almost done. So this piece came with these knobs and they were silver. I'm gonna have to go to the store and get some different ones because I don't feel like it does it justice. But I just need to do one more coat on this. I see this one and that one is done and I did do a bit of sanding again and I'm gonna have to sand that when it's a little bit more dry so right here I just wanted to show you really quick um, I'm taking a slim paintbrush and I'm dipping it in water and just to make this really clean line because every time I kept painting the square line I would get some on the side so this was a lot of work I really had to make this um, really look nice because if I just left the paint all messy it wouldn't have looked so clean so that's what I'm showing you here I'm just showing you how I'm using my paintbrush and I'm getting in these corners areas to take out the paint that you know makes it look messy Again, there might be somebody who knows how to do this. Again, I'm really an amateur at this, but I always have like this passion 
that I have to be doing something and I love fixing furniture. I love creating. Alright, so I am going to, I already started, you can see I've used this sander here, um, this one, it doesn't say, oh look, grit 400, and so I've started to um, do this with my finger just because I don't want to use anything else, just lightly come here and see how it's pulling out the dark. That's all that I want. I just wanted a little bit of dark. Not too much, just enough to bring it all in with the other dark. So see how I've done that? And then I'll come here and I'll do the same thing on this top here. So I don't wanna do too much cause I don't wanna take it all off but just enough so it doesn't look so perfect. And so you can see the um, sanding that I did. It's on there, I've got to vacuum it or clean it out. But I just didn't want it to be perfect. Um, wanted it to have a little bit of a vintage feel. And if you look here, I haven't done this side yet. It's still wet, but you see the difference. This is like really, really super clean. And then this one is bringing in that dark to have a contrast with the dark that's on the sideboard. So I really, really love this piece. I'm very proud of it. It's probably my best piece. What do you guys think? <laughs>